brothers and sisters welcome to this new episode of sunday with the word of god let us be in the presence of god and invoking his name we begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen Peter stood up in the midst of the brothers. There was a group of about 120 persons in the one place. He said, My brothers, the scripture had to be fulfilled, which the Holy Spirit spoke beforehand through the mouth of David concerning Judas, who was the guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was numbered among us and was allotted a share in this ministry. For it is written in the book of Psalms, May another take his office. Therefore, it is necessary that one of the men who accompanied us the whole time the Lord Jesus came and went among us, beginning from the baptism of John until the day on which he was taken up from us, become with us a witness to his resurrection. So they proposed to Judas, called Barsabas, who was also known as Justus, and Matthias. Then they prayed, You, Lord, who know the hearts of all, show which one of these two you have chosen to take place in this apostolic ministry from which Judas turned away to go to his own place. Then they gave lots to them, and the lot fell upon Matthias and he was counted with the eleven apostles. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Sponsorial Song Let our response be, The Lord has set his throne in heaven. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. The Lord has set his throne in heaven. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so surpassing is his kindness towards those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he put our transgressions from us. The Lord has set his throne in heaven. The Lord has established his throne in heaven and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, you mighty in strength who do his bidding. The Lord has set his throne in heaven. Beloved, if God so love us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and His love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in Him, and He in us, that He has given us of His Spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testified that the Father sent His Son as a Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledged that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him, and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love of God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Chapter 16, verses 15 to 20. 
Jesus said to his disciples, Go into the whole world and proclaim the gospel to every creature. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Whoever does not believe will be condemned. These signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will drive out demons. They will speak new languages. They will pick up serpents with their hands. And if they drink any deadly thing, it will not harm them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. So then the Lord Jesus, after he spoke to them, was taken up into heaven and took his seat at the right hand of God. But they went forth and preached everywhere while the Lord walked with them and confirmed the word through accompanying signs. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear friends in Christ Jesus, Scripture tells us that on Easter Sunday, three days after the death, Jesus rose to life and spent 40 days with his disciples. Holy Mother Church celebrates that 40th day when Jesus gathered along with his disciples at Mount Olives overlooking the city of Jerusalem. And it was before their eyes our Lord Jesus was ascended into the glory of heaven. Why did our Lord Jesus have to go back so quickly? Resurrection was so wonderful and there was a great joy in the midst of uh, disciples every time when they saw the risen Lord. Why did he go so quickly? Firstly, Jesus is not an earthly king. When questioned by Pontius Pilate at Praetorium, Jesus replied, My kingdom is not of this world, and my kingdom is not from this world. If Jesus remained on earth, he could have be, would be the greatest kings of all the earth, and his citizenship would be like any other king's citizenship of a territory on earth. But Jesus is a heavenly king and so he offers full citizenship in his kingdom that knows no end he offers citizenship in a kingdom that transcends nations and territories times and seasons and years and his kingdom is forever and is eternal life so if we belong to Jesus and believe in Jesus and obey his commandments, then we have a king whose kingdom is not of this world. And we are truly citizens of the kingdom of heaven that can never be destroyed and that lasts forever. Secondly, in the Gospel of St. John chapter 14 verses 6, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Like a good shepherd, Jesus leads and guides his sheep on the way to the Father as he ascends to the glory of heaven. As Jesus goes today to the glory of God, heaven, and where he has gone, we want to follow. Jesus shows us the way to heaven and now it's our turn to follow him. We must listen to his words and obey his commandments and follow his way where he leads us to the green and verdant pastures of heaven that last forever. Where Jesus goes, we will follow. And he leads us to the Father's house and to his Father's kingdom. By this, he is re-emphasizing that heaven is our destiny. And so, my dear friends, on this feast of ascension of our Lord, let us join the apostles at Mount Olives, where Christ was taken up to the glory of heaven, to remember that we are in the world, but not of this world. And we follow where our Lord has gone and enter into the eternal glory of heaven. Amen. Call me.
out upon the waters, the great unknown, where feet may fail, and there I find you in the mystery, an ocean deep, my faith will stand. Abounds in deep as waters, your sovereign hand will be my guide. Where feet may fail and fear surrounds me, you've never failed, and you won't stop now. So I Rise, my soul will rest in your embrace, for I am yours, and you are mine. No, oh. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. 
We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protect from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and our compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin Mary. Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Colunzot, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, your friends, and your families, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We stand before the grand horizon. Five hundred years of faith. Show.